goals of this science curriculum is to focus or to use common everyday phenomena. This idea of, of kind of connecting to where people are at, and so in science for us we're just trying to connect with things that people can see in the world around them. We, we need to watch a video, right? So we need to watch a video of a lightning storm actually, because what we're trying to, to do today is, is understand where lightning comes from, what causes it, but we need, to, we need to look at a storm, a lightning storm, make observations about it, ask some questions about it, think about some hypotheses. The focus of this class has been the idea that it's important to try to think like a scientist when studying science. So making observations, thinking of questions that get at the why of what we're observing, and then making some hypotheses about what those explanations could be. When you watch this video of lightning, what were the things that stood out to you about what you saw? It's only from a dark cloud. The clouds look dark? What else? What else? Scary, scary sound. Scary, scary sound, sound, for sure. So oh, when it strikes, it have different, um, like, strings like that. So it looks kind of like that, maybe, but then yeah. it, it, but it might also have sp spread out, right? So they sometimes have... Yeah. Like in slow motion, you can see how it kind of spreads out, almost like roots or a tree, yeah, yeah. right? Come to think of it, is the sound coming from the lightning or the thunder? Ah, the sound. Does the sound... The sound right? right, is the thunder is the sound, yeah. not the lightning. How hot is it? How hot is it? Fantastic question. So they came up with a lot of the interesting observations about lightning. They talked about how fast it was, they talked about the light and the sound, the shape of the lightning bolt they talked about, and then their questions about why it forms, why it happens, where the noise comes from. So the basic question was, why does lightning happen? And that was a way in to talk about electrical charge. So electrical charge is a property of matter that. Now what is matter again, just to kind of refresh our memories? What's our definition of matter? Anything that has mass and volume, right? So electrical charge isn't matter itself. In the same way that sound or light, heat, these are not matter, these are forms of energy. Electrical charge is measured in two things. It's either positive or it's negative. And the particles, right, we're talking about particles at this point. What's a particle, by the way? Um, yeah, Atom is a kind of particle, but there are others. It just really means a very, something very, a very small piece of matter, right? So two things you want to know about with positive, positively charged par particles and negatively charged particles is when you put two of them that are the same together, what happens? If I put a positive, positively charged particle and a positively charged particle together, what do you imagine is going to happen? They explode. They reject, they, reject they reject each other, so they, 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 so they repel each other, right? so they actually push each other apart. Right? So if you put a positive, we'll, call that, we'll say that's a positively charged particle, right? so it's a really small bit of matter, but it has a positive charge, right? and I put another positively charged particle next to it, they're actually going to push away from each other. And so what if I put a negative particle and a negative particle together. They're going to move apart from each other still. They're also going to move apart, right? Mm -hmm. So that if, if the charges are the same on two particles, they, get, they push apart, right? And so, now the other thing to know, right, is that if the charges are opposite, they're, they're going to attract. What we're going to do is actually we're going to move into this open space in the back here. So if, we could, if I could ask everyone to stand up, you don't need paper and pencil or anything. We're going to, we're going to try something out here.